Okay, I'm going to do a quick demonstration video to do a demo on some um, laser sensors and the difference in performance between some detectors and why. So I've got a Yunlin R8, I have a Yunlin R7, and in the box I have, surprisingly, another Yunlin R7. Now that's one, they've all plugged in, they've all turned on, they've all got their radar stuff turned off so they don't interfere with each other. I'm just doing laser sensors, laser sensor testing. So R8, R7, R7 in the box, and we have a laser head here. Now the laser head is currently not plugged in, and we have a laser gun. So let's just see what happens first. So the R7 in the box has got a different tone, so you'll be able to hear what that one when that one goes off. And so let's go. So we aim the laser gun at the box. And so the R8 and the R7, not in the box, are alerting. Yeah, no surprises there. Now, let's see what happens when I plug in the laser sensor. So, ooh. we have the R7 that was in the box. And when I plug in the laser sensor, that be? It's just, just an R7, just a normal R7 on the outside. Nothing unusual about that. Just a standard power cable, nothing more. Yep, and we're going to put it back in the box again. So we've got the GPS connected. We've go. got GPS, right, you've got the R8 which is on, you've got this R7 which is also on. And we have an R7, and now we have a radar sensor, sorry, a laser sensor. And so let's go back and test again. So this time, the R7 is in the box, but this time you should be able to hear it. So I'm just going to point the laser gun at the box again. This time, the R7 in the box is alerting to the laser beam. How can that be? Well, let's see what happens if I do something even more extreme. Let's let's point the laser gun out of the door, out of the guy's door, not pointing at any of the gun, any of the radar detectors. The only one alerting is the R7 in the box. Okay, so the reason is that R7 has got an extra piece of hardware which is this laser wireless uh, receive module and that is wirelessly connected to this laser head. So actually, it's this that's picking up the laser gun that's so much more sensitive than either the R8 or the R7. So even when I point the laser gun out the door, nowhere near pointing directly at them, this can detect the laser beam out of out the side of the laser beam and then wirelessly transmit that. So even though it's in the box, not seeing the laser beam at all, it's getting the alert from this wireless hardware that it's got inside, which the others don't have. And so the result is that you get a much oh dear. I don't mess up my laser gun.
do a test and what will happen. Yeah, so they all look when they're pretty much directly in the beam. But when it's outside the beam, even though that head is the one that's furthest away from the beam, The only one that looks is the one that's got the extra hardware. Cool. Yeah, so it's a great addition. Um, and hopefully I should be able to sell these soon. I think I've got enough hardware now. Um, I still actually do a bit more testing on them, but I think they should be available soon. I don't yet have a price. Um, yeah, I don't yet have a price on them. Um, I'm still thinking on that one. Um, the installation inside the radar detector is a little bit fiddly. It requires a tiny little bit of soldering, um, but it's a little bit fiddly to get it all installed and a little bit fiddly. Um, and then the main unit also needs to be installed in your car, um, which shouldn't be as bad as a, as a laser jammer system because it's wireless, so it's only this bit needs to go in the engine bay. It doesn't have actually anything that needs to go into the main unit. But yeah, yeah. But so far, so far it's working well, and I'm I'm really pleased with it. 